The touchscreen of a Galaxy Note 10 serves both as a display as well as a gateway to software. Even if the display functionality works normally okay, you may still find it extremely annoying if your taps or touches go unrecognized. A number of Note 10 owners have recently shared to us their frustrations about their touchscreens appearing to have stopped working properly after updating Android. In this article, we'll show you the solutions if your Note 10 touchscreen is unresponsive after installing Android 12 update. If you receive your Note 10 as a gift or if you recently purchased a used device, it's hard to notice at first this type of issue, especially if you don't test it during the purchase. A lot of people who buy pre-owned electronics have encountered this problem, only after unboxing their device after delivery. Though most people end up getting refunded, some may not get anything back at all. The usual cause of touchscreen issues is damage to hardware. If a smartphone is dropped or hit by hard object, the resulting situation is the one we're trying to address right now. If your Galaxy Note 10 touchscreen is unresponsive due to bad hardware, there's very little to nothing that you can do about it. A permanent fix for a broken hardware is repair, even if the motherboard is totally fine, the broken screen still requires repair. So, if the cause of your touchscreen problem is bad hardware, you should seriously consider visiting Samsung for repair or replacement. If your Galaxy Note 10 was never dropped or damaged in any way, the next thing that you can do is to see if a screen protector is affecting the sensitivity of the digitizer. Try cleaning the screen with clean soft cloth. If that won't fix the problem, just remove the screen protector entirely, if you're using one of course. Hopefully, that will bring the device to its working normal order and everything would be fine. One of the effective means to fix unresponsive or frozen touch screen is a restart. Many Android users don't usually do this as it appears simple enough to be of help. In fact, your Note 10 can benefit a lot from a restart even if it doesn't have any issues at all. Try restarting your Note 10 normally first by pressing the power button to access the boot menu. Then, select restart option and see if that works. Another way to restart the device is by pressing and holding the volume down button and the Bixby slash power key at the same time for 10 seconds or until the device's screen turns on. As the name suggests, a black screen issue's main indicator is the fact that the screen remains black no matter what one does. In this situation, the rest of the phone's functions are working except for the screen. No power issue on the hand has the device totally unresponsive, and there's total absence of signs that the Note 10 Plus is still working. If you have a black screen problem, the best thing to proceed from here on is to have the phone examined by a professional, preferably someone from Samsung Service Center. Keeping apps up to date is just as important as any other suggestion in this guide. What many smartphone users don't realize is the fact that updates not only bring cosmetic changes, but also fix for known bugs or problems. While you're at it, it might also help if you ensure that there's no pending software updates that you missed at this time. In some rare cases, major software updates are followed up by smaller update to fix known bugs. This solution option is similar to factory reset minus the hassles of deleting user data, apps, and more. If auto-rotate is still present at this juncture, then you should do this solution to see if you can fix the software bug this way. If your Note 10 touchscreen became unresponsive after installing Android 12 update, another factor that you want to check is the possibility of a bad system cache. In many cases where a device appears stuck or frozen after a system update, a bad system cache is to blame. In this case, the update may have corrupted the system cache in your Note 10, resulting to the issue we're dealing with right now. In order to refresh the system cache, you'll want to clear the partition where it's stored.
Another possible reason for an unresponsive touchscreen issue could be a bad third-party app. To check, you can run your Note 10 to safe mode. If touchscreen works normally on safe mode only, that means one of your apps may be incompatible with the new Android OS version or it may need an update. By restarting your Note 10 to safe mode, all third-party apps will be blocked, grayed out. Remember that third-party applications are disabled in this mode, so what you can use are pre-installed apps. If Galaxy Note 10 touchscreen works normally on safe mode only, that means that the problem is due to a bad app. Uninstall the app you recently installed and see if that will fix it. A more effective software solution to fixing Note 10 unresponsive touchscreen issue after Android 12 update is Factory Reset. The new update may have messed up some low-level software called firmware that causes the screen to malfunction. In most cases, firmware issues are only fixed by updating the particular firmware, but since there's no way to be certain, all you can do is to factory reset the device. If your case is that the phone is not booting up or it boots, but settings menu is inaccessible, this method can be helpful. First, you need to boot the device to recovery mode. Once you successfully access recovery, that's the time that you begin proper master reset procedure. It may take some tries for you before you can access recovery, so be patient and simply try again. That's it, we hope this video is helpful to you. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.